Are you struggling generating sales on social media? Is your business stagnant in cash flow? Here's the exciting news. We here at the Paul Cruz Sales Agency have solutions to these problems. Simply visit our website at www.paulcruzsalesagency.com, fill out a simple form, and we will get back to you within 24 hours. Paul Cruz Sales Agency, where sales happen. Three steps to selling anybody. You don't need to know a lot of rebuttals. You don't need to know a lot of sales techniques. You need to know three powerful techniques that I use every single day for the past 30 years through my straight line method. Number one is what I call the tie down questions. Okay, what's a tie down? Exactly what it says. Give me an example of a tie down. Trying to remember from yesterday. Okay. Refresh, refresh my okay. memory. Okay. Do you like the idea? Fair enough. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Are you with me? Do you follow me? Any question that you ask and they, you get the answer that you need, you tied it down. It's no longer an objection. It's gone. Okay? Now, tie downs are through the whole process. When you're asking questions, those are all tie downs. So let me give you an analogy. If you go to, let's say you go camping and you want to put the tent in the ground, you got to tie down, make sure that it can withstand the wind, right? That's a tie down. So a tie down is throughout the whole straight line method. Every, remember, the more you get them engaged and the more they're saying or they're having a dialogue with you, the easier it is for them to accept giving, in my case, a credit card, in your case, accepting your proposal, getting the bid, and then going closing it. Okay? But you led them to that by a question. You know, how many days a week do you ask? You know, uh, do you have any windows? Blah, blah, blah. How much is square footage? All of that is tied down questions. Because this is important information you need to make your pitch, right? Okay, what's the second one? The second one is the path of least resistance. How, how beautiful that works for us. Eh? What is the path of least resistance? So giving them something that they will... That, that seems like a like an obvious road to take so for example on when it comes to to, to pricing you know we throw if, if we throw a, a, a range out out there there you go you know they're automatically gravitate to what it is that we're discussing on the on the price right there you go and you gotta remember that you could say if you want you could remember it in one word options or 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 range okay so for example um, let's say I need an answer in order to, uh, to, to know that the customer is qualified to pay for my services. I give an example. You know, if you know you can make $100,000 in your business, knowing what you know and how much are you willing to invest. Let's say I don't know. Well, I give them, I, I lead them into giving me an answer. What is it, 10000 20000 30000 40000 They usually pick the least one which is 10,000, which is more than what I'm gonna offer them anyway. So I'm actually saving them money. In this case, we give them the option of, you know, whether I earn your business today or the next six months. They're gonna remember the six months because that's the last thing they remember, but we're focusing on the now. And then we bring them back to that, okay? So it's basically, is a, is a, 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 a range or options. The way we do it with the options, hey, we're gonna we could offer you a monthly fee or you could do weekly. Okay? Now, okay, number three. Number three is what we call the box close. Okay. What is a box close? The appropriate questions okay that will that you are 
that you're leading your 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 customer, you're controlling the the, the conversation right. based off the qualifying questions that you're asking. Okay. And, and, and just I'm going to put it in layman's term: is the combination of tie down questions and path of least resistance. Okay. So as you're asking questions, your answer you're going like this, going like that, going like that, going like that, going like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Boom, he's in. Now in my case, in my industry, for what I do, the way I box him in at the end, after I do my presentation and all that, and I do the pricing, I go with this. Do you like the idea? Yes. Does it make sense? Yes. Do you see the benefits, how this is going to solve your cash flow problem? Increase your revenue. Yeah, and once they say yes, boom, it's done. How do you want to secure this payment? You want to do credit card, you want to do wire transfer. There's no more debate. That's it, it's over. That's my box code. In this case, we get the pricing, we get what the services are, you know, if they have a contract, they're happy enough, okay, now box them in. I'm gonna work this out for you. If I can make it work, I can call you back. Do we have a deal? Yeah, boom. That's what we've been doing, right? Because we did the tie down question, path of least resistance, and the tie downs is part of the discovery question. Boom, boom, boom. We boxed them in, and now when you go meet with them, chances are they're going to sign the contract. Why? Because you solved their problem. You made it easy for them. If they like your presentation. It's unique, it's original, it's not the same as everybody else. I know that already. Okay? So, those are the three things. And all of this is tied into the script. I very rarely get any objections. If I do this stupid objections that I defuse them right away. Cause my job is to find out they qualify or not. Once I know they have the money, then I'm gonna do my thing. In this case, it's the same thing. Before it was just a contract. There's really no money involved. Now it's gonna be real money involved. Because they are gonna pick the month or they are gonna pick the week. But we're gonna lead them to decide the right thing, which is the week. Cause you're gonna show them saving money, when you can save people money and they think about it, they don't think about that, you're just ready to write a check. No, let's do it weekly and I'll save you money. And that's how we do it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that's it. So those, those so that's in, in in all the years, that's what it really comes down to. You know, there's other things, but you don't need to know that in this industry. And what I do, you may need to know a little bit deeper. But what are you doing? Right to the point. Boom. We're gonna get it to a point where in ten minutes we're closing the deal. At some point, I would like to learn more. You will. You will. Um, the only way you're going to learn is getting on, when we get on the phone and talk to more people. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do a little role playing, and then we're going to get you on the phone. All right? Let me take a five-minute break just to have some coffee. All right.